give us the, the boys like daily routine from the moment he'd wake up to the moment he goes to sleep like what time would he wake up we've heard very many stories he'd like he woke up early he slept late uh, how was it like <laughs> Yeah, I think people are also entitled to speculate. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you, would want to spe <laughs> you would want to do that so that you may get the right information. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> like I said earlier on, he, his day began there about three, four o'clock when he would begin and get down onto his Bible. Uh, <clears throat> and in reading the Bible, he marked the various verses that attracted him or that touched his heart mm -hmm. he would mark them he would uh, fell bent to them um and then thereafter of course he, he says a word of prayer and that is all that is happening in his in his bedroom mm -hmm. uh, and then um would take a quick look at the newspapers uh, then do a kind of roundup calls to the various organs of government mm -hmm. uh, mainly provincial administration what time is this making these calls 4 a.m 5 a.m they're about five towards <laughs> five six o'clock goodness uh, <laughs> five o'clock and so this that, is the so famous, the be, famous uh, red, red line the hotline the hotline yes to keep himself abreast of the goings on in the in the countryside mm. <clears throat> and thereafter <clears throat> excuse me thereafter then um he would uh, take a quick breakfast uh, and then motor on into State House, arriving at State House between 6, 6.30, maybe latest 7 o'clock. Mm. He would come 7 o'clock just because somebody popped into his cabernet uh, garden's home mm. uh, for, a, for some consultations. Uh, those were mainly political issues mm. because you would not expect a provincial commissioner or a minister <laughs> to go to government to government gardens very early in the morning so those those were mainly politicians a politician out of Nyeri, a politician out of uh, Kericho, out of your various homes mm. i only understand you are he's uh, nigerian <laughs> by a little bit far Kenyan away, but, okay. far away. <laughs> <laughs> but there could be somebody also mm. out of uh, out of that place mm. yeah. that's how we would come late to the to the office mm. Mm. Um, on reaching the office, of course, we, the staffers, are already in there. Uh, so you can imagine the junior staff would be arriving about five o'clock. Mm. So to clean up the place, uh, organize the offices and mm. all that stuff. And we would then arrive ourselves uh, in between 5.45 and 6.15. And then he would arrive himself uh, towards invariably 6 15 6 45 mm. then you would arrive into the into the office uh, on arriving once in a while you would then summon the uh, the chiefs in of security uh, the DCI the NIS person once in a while the CGS the head of police and uh, the PS mm -hmm. administration just to give a quick overview on the state of the nation <clears throat> and uh, after that is done uh, then we would sit down to to also maybe have another breakfast and now the real breakfast that was a quick one mm. uh, and breakfast uh, sessions were invariably having invited people or people who have expressed the wish to be there. Mm -hmm. He also used these occasions of uh, taking breakfast to solicit information in his own way from the, uh, those attending. Mm -hmm. Or even ourselves. He would this say, man oh, was an information gatherer. From oh, 5 yes, he was. He's just been gathering information. Yes, he was. I remember the man was a teacher. Yes. <laughs> and, and teachers have a certain mindset. I speak as a this former man teacher. Is, this man is a teacher. <laughs> this man, of course. <laughs> but that is true. That's so why he had to bring in the teacher aspect. Yes, <laughs> but it is true. <laughs> Teachers true. have a certain mindset. Yeah. Yes. The information seekers. The flow of information yes. Yes. Mm. Is, is the actually their trade. Yes. Yeah. So he, he would then maybe invite, uh, tell me, oh, he's so-and-so at the gate. Said, mm. yes, 
because all pengine walikuwa wamezungumza na yeye hapo mm. hapo awali uh, then he would again be getting his information yeah. mm. and then he would say oh bet or kiptonui or or linjiru hiyo mm. nilisikia jana ilikuwa nini and then we would explain what it was mm-hmm. um, so anasema wewe that time when kiptonui was controller mm. wewe unitie a b c d because of what has transpired here yeah. <coughs> he now wants to actualize or get implementation mm. or get further clarification on those issues mm. um, and the day will roll on like that the day will roll on like that uh, somewhere along the way he could say ah let the magari bwana sema tunaenda wapi mzee sema hii Kenya hii hii Kenya ni yetu hii na usifikirie tumesaliwa kukaa ndani ya nyumba ni kuangalia dunia <laughs> and then uh, then the vehicles are called in and you know what he does <laughs> he just oscillates around Nairobi <laughs> <laughs> just go around just go around uh, addressing people uh, seeing what they are doing uh, again buying this uh, this and that <laughs> and uh, greeting them and it made the people feel good mm. our president is here He's around with us. He was ever present. Yes. This is the thing about. The you can say almost <laughs> like we say on God omnipresent. He <laughs> was he was, it was uh, all over. Mm. Uh, then we would come back and all that. Lunch hour was not like any other lunch hour in state of that I have seen mm. since him. Mm. Uh, I went for lunch when Gibagi was the president. I've not been to lunch with this one now. Mm. But it's not like Moi's lunch hour. The table was quite quite long, long one mm-hmm. it's not a long one mm-hmm. and uh, full of fruits as what i used to do mm. and uh, he would be having strangers on this table up to up to 10 by strangers non staffers right mm. non members of his uh, outsiders outsiders you mm. would say and uh, again he does what you said eric collecting information mm. <laughs> 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 like Malibu <we> said, <laughs> collecting, yeah. collecting information. <laughs> It's strange. <laughs> yeah, and uh, and of course, uh, there are stories. I mean, there are human stories mm. uh, which he would share with them. Mm. Which stories he would later on also use in public, public gatherings. Mm. Uh, those stories just to use them uh, to indas, indas, is it interpose. Or mm. Inter- yes. Interpose. Mm. Yes. In, uh, Interspersed. Uh, whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> when he's uh, addressing the public uh-huh. and they were Jewish stories also mm. uh, and the people you would find them getting excited or he would get some um, new word for this generation <laughs> and, throw mm-hmm. and, and throw it into the into, into the congregation <laughs> into the public yeah. and uh, the public would say ah mzee hana eleo bwana ako mzee is in touch eh kabisa 